Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're here for the very first time, welcome. We are reacting today to Fury and I know this movie is with Brad Pitt. I'm aware there is actually a little bit of story behind me reacting to this. So I got this movie recommended in the comment section and as well on Patreon. And I had it in a pool and everything, but any other movie kind of like won a little bit over it so my mom likes kind of action movie war movie and uh like police movies in general so she was asking me now that you started this second youtube channel can you recommend me some movie to watch and she only uses one um like she she's not a big fan of you know anything so she's basically just using netflix so i said to her look these are some of the movies people recommended me and if you want to check them out check them out and she actually did watch this one she said it was that means it was not that great oh god oh god so i was like you know what i'm gonna watch it as well and then we can discuss about it me and my mom so that's why i'm reacting to this today do hope you guys get to enjoy the reaction if you do don't forget to like and subscribe if if you want to see the full length reaction of course you can find it on my patreon it's already probably uploaded by the time you see this one and um, yeah i am very happy that i get to share like a little bit let's just call it behind the scenes i forgot to close my cup sorry and um i feel like i'm kind of ready i have coffee and have water a lot of people actually commented Bis, i don't think you hydrate i'm hydrating i am this is my hydration cup i only have water and occasionally wine on the weekends but who counts right so i'm ready you guys are ready let's go in world war ii american tanks were outgunned out armored by the more advanced german tanks u.s tank crewmen suffered enemy vehicles oh wow it is april 1945 in desperation hitler declared total war mobilizing every man woman and child yeah i don't think you guys need me to read for you but i don't mind reading for you Man on a horse. Oh, my neck. Oh! I feel like recently I've been watching so many kind of war movies. Can I please get recommended some nice comedies or, you know, love stories in the love story movies in the comment section below? Thank you. <laughs> it's not like I don't like the movies like this, especially the ones that represent history because I do love history. It's just that sometimes, just sometimes, guys, I'm getting a little bit too emotionally affected. And I like to think that um, me, myself and I, we are, uh, I am a very happy person. Oh, shit. Okay. Take his scalp. Aww. A white horsey. I like that. I like that he let the horse go. I think that white horse has more meaning and symbolism that we can understand. Knocked him off. I mean, you kind of look like you broke his neck as well. Is he peeing inside? Lord, oh, stop me, rest. Mm. Well, he's dead. He's dead. Show some respect. Leave him alone. It's your fault. Are you still talking? Let's get out of here, boy. Much. Ah, ah, fuck. The fuck you do that for? I'm trying to fix this. You know why? Fucking help anything? Tension is high here, guys. Vámonos, cabrón, vámonos. Hey, you want to talk Mexican? Join another tank, Mexican tank. This American tank, we talk American. Who put the fucking nickel in you, top? You talk crap. You talk German. I can't talk Spanish. By what country are we in? Germany. Germany. They speak German. Hey, here's my tour of war. He speaks American. We're all alive. We're in here. God's grace. I mean, sometimes it's good to have hate. Um, the problem is after you see so many atrocities, you kind of start losing faith. That's why I loved Hexo Ridge so much. So let's see how this movie develops. Rain's coming. Oh, I'm your sweetheart, right? Mm. Great grub. Well, I'm definitely learning something today. How many people you can fit in a tank. Never knew that. They do be collecting. They do be collecting. I mean, it's like, why the hell did it stop like that? <laughs> right. 
I just want to say before we start, I don't know anything about like tanks or a oh, fury, the name of the on the tank. So if I ask questions and you consider them stupid questions, I'm so sorry, but I just ask stuff because I don't know it. Oh, oh, that that was painful to watch. Oh, is he, he's pushing down that Anton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably there are like communication wire. Honestly, when I'm watching a movie and I see how much attention they pay to the details and trying to make it look as authentic as, as it was probably described to them, it's just it just gives a different depth to the movie. Oh, cow! The movie basically starts in telling us that the American war. Not doing very well with tank and ammunition and stuff. Devil watches over his own. Bikowski, good to see you. Grab his arm. Flame him down. Flame him down. They had one death. The guy that he was holding his arm in the tank. Where's the rest of third platoon? Where do you think Where they are? are? Yeah. We can't do shit about mechanical issues. Where are you going? Probably trying to fix some other stuff. It's good to have a good leader. Giving orders and basically sharing responsibilities that are needed. It's so important. Oh, he's breaking down. He was holding strong for his crew. That's a good leader. First Sergeant Collier? Maybe what the fuck are you? Private Ellison. I was told to report to you. I'm your new assistant driver. <laughs> Assistant driver, that's cute. No, you are not. Yes, yes, I am. God damn it! Who told you this? Master Sergeant with the clipboard. Bullshit. Right there. He's right. This kid name? is not younger, really older than twenty max. How long you been in the army? Eight weeks. Jesus. That's home. Do as you told. Don't get too close to anyone. He looks so innocent. Eight oh, weeks. Yeah. Probably didn't even leave the camp, really. I'm reacting right now to a uh, band of brothers and I'm learning that there are bull tanks and, and tiger tanks and all of the animal tanks. Which way is the front? Which way is the front? Hmm. All around us, kid, because this is Germany. We're surrounded by crowds. Can I please have my book back? What are your cigarettes? I don't smoke. Oh, you're gonna be smoking. Never even seen the inside of a tank. I'm a clerk typist. I was heading to 5th Corps HQ. They pulled me off the truck. They sent me here. Made a mistake. Mistake? Army don't make mistake. What would you do? You from Missouri? No. No, I'm from Hey, Pittsburgh. hush up, man. Nobody gives a fuck where you from. <laughs> don't be mean to him. I go to church. Who's your nomination, are you? Episcopalian? Yeah, you are. You're a mainliner, ain't you? Yeah. I don't know what those are, but I guess it's a religion. You gotta listen. Are you saved? Wait until you see. See what? Death. What a man can do to another man. Yeah. I don't think I could manage inside the tank. I'm pretty claustrophobic to be fair. And it doesn't look that big. And especially with other what, four men? You being the fifth. That's a first mission. Clean the inside of it. Uh, oh, oh. oh We're supposed to be no more tigers now. No more sea guys? You said five tanks. Tigers. Out. One comes back, it's hard to believe we're winning the war. I'm learning. Is he puking? Yep. Hey, why are you bringing him through here? Why isn't he sleeping? Say stop the Kaviba. Get back! Oh, he, 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 he definitely did question him. Very interesting questions. I mean, honestly, I'm, I do understand all of this tension, you know? You got your friends killed. He's an SS. You kill every last one you can, the real asshole. No. You will. In you eight weeks? Wait, what is he supposed to kill? Look at it. See that cover? Yeah. Open it. Now you kill it. Close it up. Now you ain't. <laughs> well, that's pretty straightforward information. Not by me. Good to have you, Don. Don is not feeling very well, guys. I'm Big Kowski, sir. Uh, 
How is this guy a prank? First platoon, mount up, move out. He looks so inexperienced. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't. He doesn't really inspire respect in a way, at least for me. He looks like a child with a, a clipboard. This guy is breaking my heart. I mean, if you're in a tank, you already know you're gonna be target. You owe me 40 bucks. You are in Germany, an enemy country. Keep on. I didn't manage to read. Oh my god, that's a bride, I think. Look, guys, there. Did anyone else notice her? A wolf in sheep clothes means that someone could be. Could be, you know. In the hole. Your hands up. That's what it means. Like, it's something so sad seeing people with their belongings moved away from their homes and families. Should let you fuck her for a chocolate bar. It's not true. Stop being so disrespectful. No. Okay. It's not true. You see, we can kill him, but we can't fuck him. It says so in the Bible. Stop, all right? They're just taunting him a little bit. No. Hey, what about me, huh? You think you can save me? <laughs> Sing me a hymn. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sing old Rugged Cross. Knock off the horse to play. I mean, I totally understand. <laughs> I totally understand their I need so. to joke around and everything. The things they see, the things they, they listen to and everything. Everyone has <laughs> need of a laugh a little bit. Oh, that was loud. Flash! Down there! He did see him. Wow. That was... Those are kids. And... and... Alright, these two scenes, one after another, so freaking powerful. Why did you take the shot? He was, he was just a kid, I'm sorry. You see what a kid can do? Look! That's your fault. Next German, you see with a weapon. You rake the dog shit out of him. I don't care if it's a baby with a butter knife in one hand and mama's titty in the other. <laughs> you chop him up! Sergeant! <laughs> This movie is very brutal, like extremely brutal. I mean, I was expecting a war movie, don't get me wrong, but this is really, really, really graphic. Who's in charge of this column? I am. Okay, I guess those are like war prisoners on the wall. All right, how many tanks we got? Four. Four? four. What do you do with four tanks? Oh, yes, we ten. Mm. Miles! Sergeant Miles! Get first platoon ready. You're working for him now. Maybe they'll surrender. Oh, well, maybe they'll fight. There are so many maybes. I had eyes there, gone there, gone. I'm flying blind. You're gonna arrive on a fucking magic coffin for all I care. I know who you are. I know you know what you're doing. Oh, that's nice. They murdered some good boys out there today. Having those words being said to you mean a lot, probably. Did you? They are cornered. Uh, you know what they always said? A cornered animal is more dangerous in their line of sight, so be alert. than a free one. Moves. Yeah, unless they pound us first. If they do, we'll know exactly where they are. Why are we rescuing kittens instead of just driving down to Berlin? Why are you such an asshole? That's a great question. <laughs> well, at least we are in 1945, so we know it's not gonna take much longer. April, they said, right? Copy. Love one, three, copy. He wanted 10 tanks, he got 4. How... How much armament can a tank sustain? Like... I don't know, you drop bombs on it, can it sustain it, can it not? I know that like normal gunfire, yes, but... I'm so immersed in this movie that I almost dropped my coffee. I like that they use the tanks as cover as well for the foot soldiers. The hell is that though? Lasers! Fire, 
I got the a goose bump there. It's so smart from them for using the 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 forest as cover. Oh, they hit it. Oh, they abandoned it. All tanks, start squirting that tree line. Let's light them up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're in the trenches. Hey, hey, start shooting. But where do I shoot at? The Nazis, dumb fuck. The guy never been in a tank before. So much pressure on him. I got him. Loading the gun. Get up. Loading the gun. Got him. Do your job. Do what you're here for. I was loading the gun. Hey guys, 12 o'clock. We're gonna run this bastard. So. Shit. God. Get your boys in the fight. No, these are not trenches. These are called foxholes. They're not trenches. See our dead bodies. How do you know they're dead? Are you a doctor? But they're dead. So they don't stand up for shooting us in the house. Fuck! Get him! Fuck! Get fucking me here! I ain't fucking more! Turn your goddamn intercom off. You got a ball like that. I ain't fucking give up. I ain't fucking give up. I can't see you anymore. Say pretty, you know? That's what we do. I don't judge him. I totally understand it. I totally get it. I mean, most of the people that enlisted maybe they didn't even want it to be there this movie makes me wrinkles on my forehead my i think Lord even if you're not Lord religious Lord. having someone to comfort you in your last moments is something amazing and maybe that not a lot of people do get while we're talking about war you know i had the best bow gun in the entire ninth army in that seat now I got you. I promised my crew a long time ago I'd keep them alive. You're getting in the way of that. He took uh, the clothing from the Americans. Norman, come here. I think he want to teach him a lesson. Would you shoot at this man if you saw him dressed like this? He would probably say, you know, like, I think this is a good lesson. If this is what he wants to do, this is what I would do in this case because he didn't want to shoot at the bodies because he was like oh but they are dead you know let's see call your dogs off on a canine on a canine you are no goddamn good to me unless you can kill crowds no put a big fat hole in his back no put a big fat hole in his fucking back no i, I wouldn't not. do it either not right. Why are you here? You're here to kill him. You know why he's here? He's here to kill you. He's here to kill you. He's here to rip your throat off. He says that he just want to go back home. In German. Try and teach you something. Yeah, but not like that. You're going to get me killed? No. I need you to perform. He kills you or you kill him. You or him. Pick. Just Come kill here. me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. I can't do it. Don't. Don't do it. It's alright. Do it, Norman. No. Don't do it, Norman. Do your job. I didn't like that. I don't know. That made me very sad very fast. Because I can relate to normal as well i understand shooting and kind of in a in a way of protecting yourself but he, he could have been just taken as a war prisoner i i i get his action as well i understand his option as well because he needs people that he can count on and that can shoot to make a man out of me because my conscience is so I understand both sides. I think in his case, the army did do a mistake. Shit house ramp up. He's solid. He should have never been in front. We've been together since before Africa. I won't fight with anybody else. Me neither. There ain't no crew stay together like we have, Norm. That's cause of him. Don, he done shit his drawers full. <laughs> Don, I understand you. I totally get you. I'm. 
haven't seen you eat anything all day. Make sure you get something to eat. He will probably not be able to even hold anything in his stomach, to be fair. Make sure he sees it too. No, no. It's just the whole sad situation of everything. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold on in here, guys. I'm really trying. Because I'm not cry a crybaby. I'm a strong. There you go, boys. Keep pounding. I just hate this generalization and this hate between the two armies in general that is being displayed through all of the war movies. Yes, I, I know the Nazis army was one of the most loyal and dedicated to the cause. How can you look at this or at this and think that the whole country Kampfen? I don't want my kids something. You see, this is exactly what I, I, I said. I wanted to say all of these scenes people were forced to fight and enroll in armies and everything i'm getting a headache here because of how much i stay like this oh my god from the under from the foundation cellar They do have strategic positions. It's not like Germany went against the other countries. They went against their own people as well. How the hell did they even put a tank in there? Just shoot at them. This is a way easier death. No, 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 you shouldn't. Don't be like this. You. Oh, this is eating at my damn soul. It's eating at it. Come here. It's a bunch of kids. Oh my god. Here they come. Keep an eye out. They did say it's kids, woman, man, everything. He knew. You see, this is an example of a very loyal, of a very loyal. As as everything. I mean, he was hanging the kids that were refusing to um, to be part of the army. That's why he asked if he was the one hanging the kids. Wasn't nothing, right? Sure, Sergeant. It, he did it so they wouldn't suffer. Was nothing. In fact, I kind of liked it. Oh, I guess this is some kind of like leader. And they probably unalived themselves with poison. We knew we were coming. Yeah. Oh my god, the portrait. <laughs> Oh, they did shot themselves. I didn't see the gun wood. Yes. It just says that they much rather go in their own way than be captives. Peaceful. Hitler, Junger. I thought they poisoned themselves. If you do that, you'll make it through this thing. And then you go home and you have PTSD for the rest of your life. Uh oh. I assume they poison themselves because that's the way basically all of the high up kind of family around Hitler did go include inclusive uh, as well him. Um, they just used to take poison so they're not getting captured. They just have been... mm, liar, paints on fire. Let's see if Watch it's her. husband or kids. Check under the bed. Check under the boards. Come on. So put. Hey. Hey. Come on. Don't don't make it any harm. Close the door and lock it. In German. Lock the fucking door. Damit hätten sie umbringen können. Sie ist meine Cousine. Tut mir leid. But why was she hiding her? 
I'm gonna riot if I see anything you like see ISIS files. Like like taking advantage of a woman like that. I'm gonna Close. rage. I'm gonna rage quit this. Put the gun down. He doesn't seem like the type of you know. You make me nervous. Maybe the father is some high rank SS, maybe. That's why they were hiding her. The high school youngest mate. Emma. Emma. For what did he want the hot water? Eggs. Yeah. He wants eggs? Boiled eggs, maybe? Take. Just want something to eat. Get away from that window before they shoot the hell out. Honestly, I'm not even surprised they they hid the girl. How is Gore? You never know what's gonna <laughs> happen, right? You get your ass up here, boy. I hope you escape this. Is he's shaving? Little bit of normality. He's back. It's all burned. She's a good, clean girl. You don't take her in that bedroom, I will. Nine. She sent you on. We'll see you later. I mean, he has a point. I mean, you just said that the young girl is uh, clean. Maybe her older cousin is clean as well. And you are cleaning yourself. Can I see your hand? Can I see your hand? I'm not going to bite you this hand. Now you can tell a lot about a person. And the lines on their hand. Okay. Do you? <laughs> I mean, you help people and understand them. It's really rare. Really rare, you see? You see that though? Yeah, I got it too. Am I blind? My grandma taught me how to do this. Can I, can I get a close up? You see this right here? That is your heart line. Which one? The one on top? You are going to have one great love in your life. But that is different from my hands. Girl, he's playing the piano, he's reading poems, and he has blue eyes. It's not ugly either. Let me see if he has that smirk. You know that the, the guys usually get that smirk. Do you have the smirk on? Show us. You don't have to say a word. <laughs> he doesn't really need to talk. We can see it. It's so awkward. Oh, she has a smirk too. All right. Well, I guess it was good. Is it hot? It's hot. Norman! What? What? Maybe we do that, Gore. Wait a second. These guys. What you do there? What's it? What would you do? What would you do? Why quiver? Stop, die. Come on. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't, don't ever fucking tell me what to do. You Anyone touches a girl to get their teeth kicked in. Oh. 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 Good day, Norman. You just destroyed this beautiful ambience. There it is. How about I just kill you, huh? How about I fucking kill you right here? What's wrong with you? That's fucking North Georgia right there, boy. Donkey. Why? I need. What's this behavior? F f oh. Then where the fuck was my hand? Stop behaving like a damn asshole. Maybe someone else can understand this behavior better than I do because it just pisses me off. There you go. Oops. Or, um, just. Smash this fucking plate in his head. I'm gonna just fix this for you real quick. Mm. I didn't touch it. You're a bitch. That's what you are. <laughs> yeah, you're a real man. That's what you are. Mm. We weren't invited. Maybe because you behave like assholes. 
They too good for us. Especially this dick. And neither will you. I surely don't understand something, so please let me know. Do you like horses? Don likes horses. Am I right, Don? We're eating. No, we're not. I'm done. I'm fucking done eating. Are they jealous that he spent a bit of time with Norman? What was the problem? We finally hit open country. And we linked up with the British and the Canadians. And you know what we did? Pull him back into Germany. And cars for miles. Okay. Your eyes see it. And for three whole days. You ate horse? What happened? Shoot that wounded horses. Do you know how you kill a horse? Do you remember that, Don? I think he wants to forget it. All the black clouds of flies just buzzing around. It was like being in a... A giant beehive, but you weren't there. So because he wasn't there, we have to behave like that towards him. I see. Okay. What happened? Happened. What's going to happen? It's going to happen. Sitting here playing house and a couple bitch crowds ain't going to change a fucking thing. Shut the fuck up. Why should I shut up? You shouldn't. He's not playing house. He took for himself one or two hours to just disconnect. What's wrong with that? He knows what he has to do. He knows what his mission is. Disconnecting is good for the I'm mind. I'm just drunk. I'm sorry. Where's love on six? Right here. The old man wants you. How come? You got a mission. There you go. Let's go. Are you happy now, guys? The next to start, I name it. Mr. Alan Alfkin. You have a pen, all right? Y'all getting married? What the fuck y'all doing? It's a fucking wedding? What kind of troops? Probably doesn't know either. All we got is you. No pressure. We're on the way. We don't have any information. We don't know who we're going against with, but there is a lot of pressure on our shoulders, basically. Slow this hell. Was good thinking that he went under the tank, to be fair. Oh. you think you are, huh? Jesus Christ! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh god, why? It's a very good question. The thing is you cannot even get attached to anyone because you never know what's gonna happen. Like, it just happened. And now they go on into the next city, into the next city, into the next city. And with each city you lose a little bit more of your soul. And your eyes start to look more hollow. And you're a little bit more dead inside. I think Don maybe see sees himself a little bit in him. He's trying to latch into his innocence a little bit. I started this war killing Germans in Africa. But before it does, a lot more people gotta die. Sadly. And even people that end up being alive, they're still basically still dead. That was one tank gone. Well, they shot from your right. There it is. Bring the bulls. He's still there, guys. They said that the Germans had better tanks. <laughs> Shit, that was like so close. It just ricocheted like that. He just took his head. Like that. What the hell is this tank made of? It's, it's, it's like what? Four versus one, and he just smash you guys. He took down two tanks already. Oh my god. Three. Now he took three tanks out. Three. Oh, he doesn't look like we damn fucking got it. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. Come on, Bobo. Now, Where is it? Ah. Fuck. 
What kind of tank is this? Well, I guess he grew up. Yeah, but he took three tanks out and damaged yours. Now what? What are you supposed to do with one tank? One half tank? Radio check, level one six. Radio check, level one six. The stress. I'm stressing here on this chair. Radio's 86. We're on our own. Nice. Great. Oh, hey, well, me. No, no, I'm the instrument, not the hand. God didn't call us today. You hear me, boys? What's he doing up there? Big paradise. No one else came up, snake guys, but us. Lord's protection. We got it, don't we, boys? Yes, sir. <laughs> we got yes, it. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's called plot armor. <laughs> you did good. Oh, oh. Best job I ever had. Best job I ever had. <laughs> Best job I ever had. I mean, the adrenaline must be high, to be fair. We're to be fair. To business. Let's head out to those crossroads. Keep it out of crowd's hands like we've been told. Alone? There's a wave coming in. We're the rock to break that wave. Vamonos. Vamonos. But the tank did have some damage, right? There was some, some thing when they said that they had to ch uh, change to manual. If I'm not mistaken. <gasps> Jesus! I just moved my camera. I jumped so hard that my camera moved. Shit! Oh my Shit. neck! <laughs> you know that moment when you're just concentrated? Yeah, why not? And you're just I'm dancing. Guys, check uh, for other mines. Don't don't just go floppy floppy there like that. What if another mine is hitting you? Hello? You're assholes, but I got attached to you now. Oh my god. I was so tense and so concentrated on the scene that that jump scare just... <laughs> I'm gonna put the gun down, Norm. I ain't gonna do nothing. Can we go now? Norm, I'm sorry. You know, I think, I think you're a good man. That's okay. what I think. All right, all right. <laughs> I think maybe we ain't, but I think you are. So I want to tell you that. Okay, you're less of an asshole now. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Kid! Head up top of that hill near those trees. You got outpost guard. Yeah, you can grab your canteen. What's a canteen? Maybe you can show me what a canteen is. By the time I'm reading the comments, I might be able to see it. A canteen. He's back? Top of the hill, then work your way from the trees. Please don't explode, please don't explode. Please don't explode. Oh, thank God, hallelujah. I don't even know what to expect from this movie, to be fair. Imagine him just explode on that road there. His canteen. Maybe his canteen is like somewhere where he has his food in, personal objects, I don't know. Must be great. Oh, I definitely hear it as well. What is it? Shit. Oh yeah, okay. That sounded bad. This is bad news, guys. I think Norman is running, eating the land. It's, it's a way of saying in Romanian. Fuji munkan pamuntu. It's in Romanian. Oh, slow down. They're coming right now. Who's coming? The Germans. How many? All of them. Too many, too many to count. How many? Um, they got vehicles too. And horses. Right over there. And they had horses. Are you hear that? Yeah, it's just get our shit, all right? Look, Do you have nades? Just get yeah. on up out of here, huh? Let them pass on through. Let's hit them wood. Dude, Norman, go get your shit. Go get your pack. Let's go. I think he's gonna do something crazy. We're gonna run before I ain't running now. We're gonna fight it out. We can't. I'm gonna hold this crossroad. Yeah, you said that. Cop, what are you doing? What do you want to do? You want they don't have tanks, though. Hold off the SS battalion. No, it's not what I want to do, but it's what we're doing. There's five of us. Hit your fighting position. No, that Cop. don't make Cop. sense. Don't Stop! What are you doing? He told you. This 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 guy's eyes always... Uh, cry. He's crying. On that neck. Get out of here. Get to that tree line. Boys, 
Take care of yourselves. Get to that tree line. It's all right. Hmm. It's all right. It's my home. You make another home. I'm not crying. I'm staying here with you. I'm not crying, guys. There is just strong onions around. Need you to load. We're gonna stay. Uh -huh. Oh my god, they're all staying. They know it's it's it's. What is your plan? Oh, do you have nades? Do you have mines? Start planting. Put some traps. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, you can aimlessly shoot, but but you're gonna run run out of ammunition at some point, right? Right? Gives one of the dead crowds. They have to put some some traps, guys. Is he like trying to to make them furious? Well, the tanks aren't moving from there. Grenades. Grenades. Ammo count. Put that there. That full round smoke. 23 supercharged, 33 shot shot. What you want, top? Gordo, grab me that one. Oh my god, I'm shaking here in my chair. Nades. Thank you. This could be their last fight as well. My forehead. <laughs> I'm losing my forehead. Two movie reactions. Might as well get a little tight. Won't be around for the hangover. Ah, ah that's better than good. Yeah, it's burning. Mm. Uh -huh. Your vocal cords are probably screaming. Here. What you gonna do with that? I'm gonna drink it. You know, there's Bible verse. I think about sometimes. It goes. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? <clears throat> and I said, Here am I. Send me. Like I said, having faith in cases. Right there, chapter six. In situations like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah That's exactly right. I am. I don't know. This whole uh, scene is pretty emotional of them sharing one last drink, one last cigarette. Because they know their chances of actually surviving these are so slim. Oh, damn, son. You fighting the fucking drinking machine, ain't you? Machine, that's it. That's his warning. The machine. 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 Yeah. Normie, the machine. I love it, Indy. Best job I ever had. Best fucking job. These scenes with, with his very blue pretty eyes. They're coming. The, these details. I don't know. I don't know. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, take this guy. He's definitely in lead. It means faster. Come on. Let's something like faster. Let's go. It is broken. Surprise! <laughs> Make it rain, boys! Make it rain! He got some anger now, too. I mean, it was really smart to shoot the building. Normal ammunition shouldn't do anything against the tank. Stay on 15 up, 15 up. Fire in the air! Yeah. White! Hit him again! I don't know how much ammunition they even have. That's right, burn to the fucking ground. <laughs> Pure chaos. Machine, they call him machine. <laughs> My signal, pop your hats, lay down some cover fire. Okay, Roger, team, you do the same. Grab that grease gun. Copy, cover right. Bible. They don't have ammunition. <laughs> they want to smoke around the shit. Holy cow. Okay, they're gonna be smoking around the tank so they can get cover so they can go around and take the ammunition if I understood correctly, and I hope I did. Because that would make sense. Go! So the machine is covering fire. 
while he's taking the other gun. <laughs> Something bad in Spanish and about his mom. Something with madre. Good aim, hello. Throw the weapon! <laughs> no, 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 our shoulder! You have to go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. I'm getting cocky. If a man loves the world, love of the father's not in him. If all that's in the world, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. It's not of the father, it's of the world. Well, his desires pass away. But he who does God's will is going to live forever. Forever. Lift it up. Um, we are very grateful for the English translation of what the Germans are saying. Thank you. My German is very uh, basic, so. Save your ammo. Don't shoot unless you see something. No, they're... they're being sneaky. Pantafon, four o'clock! And, and, uh, right. It's like mini, mini what? Bazookas. Shit. Oh. Holy shit. It went be between him, like, through his middle. have tanks but they have this mini bazookas right a nades not much longer I need a new can. that's the last belt she's up that's all there is Fuck. now what you get your panties in the bunch we still got hand weapons in the 50 the 50 was the 50 the the 50 the artillery 50 did you understood? Oh. I mean, it would be better if they had helmets on. Where the hell are they? They're everywhere. I like it how our fire is red and their fire is green. Yeah. You see? Again. Nade! No, 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 no! Take it, take it, throw it, throw it, throw it! He covered it with his body, guys. To protect the other guys. Huh? Look at this guy being so sneaky. It's a freaking sniper. It's the machine, the last one alive. He's going home. He wanna leave his last moments in his home. He did say that he's home, right? <laughs> These last moments. I'm sorry, son. It's okay. How can that be okay? I'm sorry, son. I did my best. I know. Yes, I'm scared. I'm scared too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. I want to surrender. Please don't. It'll hurt you real bad. Oh, fuck. They're not gonna, like, just It'll take... kill you real bad. Fuck what I do. There's a hatch. Oh, okay.
He's gonna cover it with his body, Go. right? You know what? He just stays there. No, no, no. Stay down, stay down. Let him go. Let him go. That's what I've been saying. For the whole time. I'm not crying, guys. <sighs> I wonder if this movie is written after like a true story. Easy boy. One's alive. One's alive. <laughs> Can you imagine the stress? The 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 fear, the stress, the survival instinct kicking in. You were here, old buddy. You know that? <laughs> Probably doesn't even matter for him. His friends are dead. He's probably never gonna be able to forget anything he just lived. He was eight weeks in the army. Let's just say one year in total with everything that passed for him. And his life's changed for that. Look at all of the bullets that's been used. I love that they closed that head. That I don't even know how it's called. They let them rest. They did put up a fight. And it's at a crossroads. When they had to decide, basically, they're gonna continue fighting or they're gonna run towards the line tree and everything. A true crossroad. Produced by Bill Block. Executive producers Brad Pitt. It was a beautiful movie. It was very, very difficult to watch. It was a little bit... I, I wouldn't say it was more brutal than, for example, Saving Private Ryan. Because I feel like that one had like a lot of very not gorish but very like heart moving scenes this one did as well maybe i i i, I don't know it, it was a beautiful movie though i uh, i will always try to not compare but put in the same category movies like like for fury uh saving private ryan hex or you know like let's just say more thematic movies into the same category when we give the ranking i I would say in comparison with these movies that I've been reacting to until now, maybe a 4.5. I don't know, I just continue, I just I just continue watching these war movies and I don't know. I, I I think I think I just look at veterans just differently. My dad was as well, he as well did a military one year mandatory service as well in Romania. And since I've been watching this movie, like we've been discussing and I've been asking him questions. Of course, he never went to war or anything like this. So. But he has like their own sort of like he actually started smoking in the army as well. So seeing everyone smoke there, I always think about the fact that my dad said, oh, yeah, I started smoking in the army as well. I don't know. It. I have to admit it. I don't know. It's getting more and more difficult for me to react to these kind of movies i like them and i like watching them because i feel like i always learn something and i always see a different perspective and i know they are movies but those movies that are inspired by real facts sh sh just break my heart little by little and every time i'm watching something like this i'm like i'm just thinking about how many people out there ended up telling their stories and telling their experience and contributing to these movies like this as well because it's not like they're inventing these scenes it's not like they're inventing what happened these are things that did happen and people participated and it just makes me so sad <laughs> so 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 sad but i do hope you guys appreciate the reaction and you know watch this with me maybe some of you didn't watch the movie maybe some of you notice different things watching the reaction i'm always grateful to have you all here it does mean a lot to me so thank you i cannot thank you how many times i i want to thank you this is the best job i've ever had and it's all because of everyone supporting here supporting on patreon supporting everywhere and i'm so grateful for it so thank you again for everything don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on my next reaction Bye bye